All right, man, we are going to see if this can be our first stream ever where we don't immediately have issues. <laughs> hey, um, Corey, let us know how our audio is. Yeah, yeah, sure. Let us know how that sucker goes, man. You know what I mean? And you guys kind of keep us updated on our audio versus now versus when the stream's going on. Yeah, I'm going to adjust it down a little bit on the desktop audio. Everybody let us know what we got. Oh, look, saw Blaze is over here. Sadly, you can't see the comments. Everybody say hey to Blaze for joining us. Fuck me, there's a surprise Blaze. It's not a surprise, you <laughs> dumbass. If you would have watched our show for the past three episodes, we've been advertising this. Yep, Ron. Corey bitch. doesn't watch our you episodes. You just flip the arms out of the way completely. I know. I was trying to. Y'all sound get great. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. Kiki says three daddies. Here we are. Oh, <laughs> three. And you but noticed who is that the, the daddiest of the daddies. You've created a competition, Kiki. Probably, probably uh, whenever my y'all are both da actual dads. I don't know. Oh, so Saul's now it's between <laughs> Blaze and I. It's like Saul's immediately discontinued from the conversation. Okay. Well, of course, I don't know. Anybody have any crazy expectations that haven't been based around what we've seen from the league <laughs> side so far? I know, Corey. <laughs> hey, Josh is here too. Josh Jago. Hey, what's up, Josh? Howdy, howdy. Hope you guys are going to enjoy the stream because I know I am. We have a minute and 23 seconds. Until Microsoft says they're going to go. No, I'm sure they will. Um, anyway, any, any kind of crazy expectations Halo, or wild hopes? Halo Infinite reveal gameplay. How mad will you be if they show it again without gameplay? Uh, it, it'd be standard for what is current in this generation. Yeah, sure. Well, do you think they're going to announce the collection for PC date on the Xbox stream or the Steam? Probably, uh, ooh, probably I would say Xbox. I think we'll see it here if we see it. Hopefully they'll say it's available yeah. now, and then I'm just going to download my Steam app and download it from there. They definitely seem to be leaning towards letting the Microsoft stream be both the um, PC mean? and the console side of things. So kind of one of the things I'm expecting here is for them to show off more of and confirm the $5 a month PC uh, game, what do you call it, game pass. So I don't know if you saw that, Blaze, this morning. There was a leak of some stuff going on. The countdown's over. You might want well to switch this over. Okay. Well, look, we will switch our priority over. Tell us how things still sound once that transition hits. And uh, we'll go in from there. Yeah, we want you guys to be able to hear us slightly over the conference, just in case you can hear our reactions. I know you have this shirt, Brandon. It's a beautiful shirt, isn't it? That's one of the ones I never got. I got some in there if you want it. Can I get to where I'm just streaming the chat on the phone? Yeah, you should be able to get a pop-out chat on the phone. There was a 30-second ad on it. Uh -oh. We don't see a damn penny. Here we go. Hey, Brett, make it big screen. Make it big. For us? Yeah. All right. Give me just a second. I actually think to do that, because I closed out of it a second ago, this is what we can do, for sure. Yeah, then you do it. Oh, maybe, oh yeah, maybe you can't do it. Brandon said, hey, Blaze. There you go. This hey, Brandon. Xbox E3 2019 Xbox. Briefing. <clears throat> Kiki, I'd be really surprised um, if Sony and Nintendo, uh, Nintendo I'm a little less surprised about, uh, if they end up showing anything, but we shall see. And you guys let us know how our audio is once it kicks in, uh, the actual conference kicks in, please. You better put our ugly mugs on your TV for it. That's where they belong. Oh, hey, you figured it out. Yep. Let us know if we need to pull the stream up a little bit for you guys to hear us so we're not drowning it out. Kiki says, new banjo game, please. It's not, un it's not impossible. <laughs> banjo Hero 2. <laughs> kazoo. No, that's a kazoo. The brick model is the oldest and most efficient structure history has ever shown us. Structure oh, out of Scheduled world. scarcity is a premium feature of colonial life. Sweet. You know, like the alpha gameplay, this game was real in a senseless iffy. and chaotic world. This is Halcyon, the furthest colony in the galaxy. Proudly owned and operated by corporations. Proudly owned and operated by corporations. 
operations. Everything we have. Everything we are. Y'all let us know if we're doubling we back that. over. We owe to them. They are always with us. They are no one has ever gone against them. Yeah, I had a feeling. There we go. But a stranger has just arrived. Someone who's challenging the corporate war. Someone who's digging up their secrets. Ah, uh, yes, Corey, this is outer Someone who works. A villain. Or a hero. Looks like the bleeding stopped. I owe you one. Here, hope this gun serves you better than it did me. Or a psychopath. Oh. <laughs> oh, huh. Did you I suppose time will tell, but no matter who this stranger chooses to be, the Halcyon Colony. We know Bethesda won't be announcing anything at this we'll E3 now. <laughs> <laughs> you don't think they show them both? I don't know. It's doubtful. What's funny is that how much this actually does in some production value ways, which I'm. It, this is not a AAA game necessarily, so I'm willing to give it the the benefit of the doubt. But it's funny to me how much this, has, from a smaller team and smaller budget, looks like Fallout 4 like, a little bit. Wow. You didn't know? That's already been confirmed. I did not know that, no. Yeah. Yeah, date was already confirmed. Huh. Please that was just seeing more From Ninja Theory, Ronnie Tucker and Ooh, Dom Theory. Matthews. All right. Where's Phil Spencer? Well, we're good. So here's the time to see if this 4v4 thing is happening. At E3 2018, we announced that Ninja Theory had joined Xbox Game Studios, a move that has given us an incredible boost in achieving the creative ambition of our teams. We've started work on a number teams. of new games at the studio, yeah, and in the near future, we'll be sharing details <laughs> on all of these projects. I want the country got to come when we joined me. Xbox Game Studios, we already had you can talk a very lately. exciting oh, game several me. years in the making. Oh, here We're for happy us. to return yeah. to E3 to share this with you. As creative director, I'm stoked to be here to share too. our new game with you guys. <laughs> it combines two of my gaming passions, third-person action combat and competitive team multiplayer. Our technical health is kicking off apparently. in just so a couple of weeks. Thank you for confirming that. No, oh, no, but the feed doesn't right. look perfect. Ha, ha, ha. We'd love for you to sign up, get Ooh. involved, and tell us what you think. Minecraft. Or if you're here at E3, come and join us for a game. I really, this was I on really purpose. hope you guys like they're it. They're revealing Check a new Minecraft. Uh, I was going to say, they're revealing edge. Cyberpunk again. <laughs> Ooh, from here. I bet you would like it, Corey. <laughs> <laughs> I will say, I, I, I chose not to watch this leak or look anything on it. This does just scream Ninja Theory. But I am a little unsure at if it was a smart decision to go with a game like this in the current climate. Boy, this character is actually really cool. Are they like motorcycle hybrids? What is going on? That he person. Had, he, had, he had steel butt cheeks. Did you see that? Uh-uh. The Tito with the metal on it. Yeah, metal butt cheeks. Whoa. Okay. See, in light of games like Apex and uh, definitely things like Overwatch, which from what I've heard have seemed to be slowing down. This is an odd choice of game, it's but I wonder what kind of budget it had and what the expectations are. Is it going to be free to play? All those things. It's cool that it's done, it's done like own a little world. It almost has to be free to play. Like to compete the, against, yeah. Because yeah. it's like, why would I pay even twenty bucks for that if you can play Apex? Yeah, but Overwatch is it's I would say is the most direct real competition. Yeah. 
And uh, Overwatch still cost, right? This is Ori, I think, from like, okay. I was like, I can't tell because they don't put it on the big screen. There I need go. to go back and finish Ori, but I really enjoyed the three quarters of it that I played. That's a good point. Corey says Melee would make it better in terms of letting it stand a little bit apart from those other two games. Did you ever play the first one, boys? No. no. It's on PC. I think you'd like it. Yeah, it, yeah. Well, the Great game. I mean, I really need to finish it, but I played it coming off of Hollow Knight, and as much as it's good, it's also not Hollow Knight. Okay, I got you. I was just thinking, how great would this be on Vita? <laughs> Not on Vita, sadly. Microsoft exclusive. But it would be great on Vita. I wish that uh, Hollow Knight would have been on Vita. Looks good. Did you say Puzzle Knight? I said Hollow Knight. I said, what is Puzzle Knight? Yo, what? Are you telling me the owl from the first game ends up being your homie? Shrunk down in size? Or maybe you. Wow, that's kind of far, more far off than I expected. But that's still not far. Uh, I think the first one did really well. So in in this particular situation, hey LTB, what's up, buddy? I think in this particular situation, um, is pretty interesting. Hey LTB, Corey said, and I didn't notice that on the last one, but every one of these games is uh, available Games Pass at launch, including Outer Worlds. Is this an actual like new Minecraft game? Did I accidentally spoil something? Look at that. We jokingly predicted the future. I assume this is a big update. No, it's a story game, it looks like. Whoa, maybe not. Is this a Minecraft dungeon crawler? Like Dude, a, I would be all yeah. over it. It is. <laughs> it, it really looks like it. An isometric dungeon crawler. I think you're right. Yep. Oh, that's, uh, that's uh, kind of cool. <laughs> Dude, we have so many, We have Darksiders Genesis hidden. This is oh, going to be man. a great year for uh, Diablo. What was it Lights. called? Oni, Oniki? For the switch oh yeah yeah it's, i i don't know if it's quite oniki but i know what you're talking about yeah i'm getting that for sure that square game Corey, yeah Corey said he's gonna get it with me i'm sold dude this is sick this is actually a great use of the ip right you yeah. can leave the normal version and continue to expand on it well and give it the armor you know Yes, which is one thing that I think Minecraft has been lagging on because there's not a real reason for it to go that deep into armor sets, but now there is. That is awesome. Nice. Yeah, I'm definitely picking that up. Yeah, that's good. And I wonder if that's coming to all services, welcome, all platforms. I would assume Xbox. so. Bills because it's still the, the broader Minecraft IP, which why let it sit on, on just one console and PC? There's my dad. Hey, father. You left for 15 years. Hey, Never going came for back. the relaxed casual Josh, look. it may be a five-year-old kid's game, but guess what? It's got the trappings of Diablo, and that's what I want. And I also enjoyed Minecraft. Terraria's better, but Minecraft's Yeah, Minecraft's fun. good. Thank you. That was Thank a good start. You. Slamming a couple games before walking Thank out. Thank you. World premiere. We on Team Xbox live for this exact moment. The moment we get to share the best of our art form here with you in LA. And the moment you get to experience breathtaking new stories, new worlds, and new heroes for the very first time. This moment isn't just about finding some new games, it's about discovering your new games. This decisive mm -hmm. moment of discovery is etched in your gaming history, alongside your every achievement, your every moment, your every new friend. This is why we on Team Xbox are always and will be dedicated to unleashing the next new games for you to discover and love. So whether you're one of the thousands with us here in Microsoft Theater, or one of the billions around the world who play games, welcome to E3 2019. Do they have like a, a real-time uh, 
text adapter for what he's saying this for people right who are now, just probably deaf, for, yeah, yeah for visual or whatever for audio and That's awesome. time in gaming history. Games and gamers together now have the sheer magnitude to be a significant unifying force for the world. The expanding universe of gaming has opened a new era of creative possibility. With more games, more creators, and more industry players than ever before. And here is Shigeru Miyamoto. And gamers were everywhere. In under two decades, the number of players in the world has more than tripled. Over two billion of us now play games in every region and on every continent. And yes, with Corey. new technological leaps, I'm curious if that's actually just his script and, and they want, had the pause breaks in there want, for uh, applause and, and everything and it's want. just coming out in real time. Or if they're taking Why would his teleprompters be behind him? Huh? Why would his teleprompters be behind him? They would just edit the text from his Well, there's multiple parts. Is guided by they're both behind him, though. That the both are left outside behind him. Yeah, but he could still have one in front My facing like most are teleprompters are, but the, the out, outer ones could be for to people to see. To bring everyone the games they want. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. To connect I mean, that's everyone what they did. to play with the friends they want and to empower everyone still to a good play move. wherever they want. <laughs> this is why we keep innovating hardware and services it's why we're uniting communities through crossplay, and why, it's why we're investing with new distinctive creators. Above all, gaming is for you. This is why we scour the world for your next new games. This today is the largest showcase of games on any stage, anywhere this year. I know that it's probably true, but would it be funny if like, Square comes out and it's like, no, son, 87 games. No, it'd be THQ Nordic. And across Xbox One and Windows PC, we're highlighting 60 games for you. Wow. Including 14 games from Xbox Game Studios. Wow. And over 30 games premiering in Xbox Game Pass. Nice. That's, yeah, that's impressive numbers. That 14 games, uh, Microsoft Game Studios, makes me think that we are for sure going to see Fable. We'll also announce what's next at Xbox Game Studios. Oh, console. Sharing our expansive Perhaps. plans yeah. for streaming. I assume. And of course, revealing more about our next new console. Hey, there we Games go. Pass is a good deal, Josh. So thank you for joining us today. Let's jump in. Me and Brett were talking about how good, especially the new games, the PC Pass is going to be. Yeah, PC Pass is supposed to be five dollars a month with a hundred games. Hey, available. Fable. Oh, that's not Fable. Well, that ain't Fable. That's Star Wars. They actually have an exclusivity deal with them too, from what it, from what I read yesterday. Exclusivity or marketing? Uh, I thought I read exclusivity. But it, I'm not. it could be exclusive marketing. That could be it. Very too. much like Red Dead with PlayStation. Yeah. Hey, who are you? Is that Forrest Whitaker? Yeah, he he had a character in um. Got a name? Yeah, in Rogue One. Rogue One, Cal yeah. So I'm here on Jedi business. Jedi is dead. Not all of them. Inquisitor fighting. A Jedi. This trailer is actually better than the one in the gameplay trailer than yesterday. Yeah, I watched a little bit of the gameplay yesterday. It doesn't look bad to me, but I knew what you were talking about, where it looked like the guy playing it was making some odd decisions. Yeah, like he was intentionally going slow, and I didn't want to see slow combat. Hope is not yet lost. This looks good. I'll be getting it if nothing else, just to express the whole single player support of. Key referred to him as the lazy eye guy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm okay. You all right? No, we are not doing that again. But yeah, I mean, I think that whenever you have a company like this and you're constantly berating them to give you a single player experience, if this looks interesting to you at all, it's good to go ahead World and support it premiere. so that you can show them that you, this is what you'd like from World. them. That comes out like a week before Death Stranding. I mean, after Death Stranding. Yep. Hey, Fable. <laughs> <laughs> 
No, it's mine. Yeah. Hey, what's up, Atlas? Good to see that you can make it. Hey, Atlas. Yeah, what's up, buddy? Oh, no, it's another Outlast game. I had a feeling it was Outlast, but oh, it wait. is a slightly different take. We didn't see red barrels, did we? That's is this good. not Resident Evil? Peter Shannon, a nine-year-old went missing on Saturday. This is Resident Evil 8? I don't think it is. The camera okay, mechanic Let's makes me think it out last. Well, the camera mechanic was kind of in up, 7, boy. wasn't it? Boy. At least like the, cam like the uh, VHS thing. Yeah, that one little bit. But not like real-time camera ability. You know what I mean? Yeah, this game looks really good for Outlast games, though. That's definitely Outlast. I don't know why our stream keeps dropping quality. Sorry, guys. We're green, so it's Microsoft screen fault. Corey, I think your wishes are coming true, buddy. I still need to check out Outlast 2. I've been meaning to for a long too. time. I love the first game. This does look very good. And I like how they're moving the camera out. Oh. Did you see it was different on the camera? Mm hmm. Nice. Okay, bullet. Let's find this kid. Tying a little bit of that Resident Evil 7. The videotape already exists. Now let's break back into it. Blair Witch. And you know what? Oh, that wow. makes sense with the camera. I got to see Corey's footage. response to this. Corey, what do you think about that? Hey, hey, hey. Yeah, here we go. I'm real curious how much they peel back the curtain, you know what I mean? Because we've already seen gameplay, technically. Technically. And there's going to be a behind closed doors um, gameplay event as well. Are you alone? I just want the money. You got the chip? All right. Start her up, bug. Why don't you go to the bathroom, wash up. We're going to be with you in a minute. Wow. Oh, come on, man. Your neck. It's a mess. While hotel security has yet to comment, we do know the suspect seems to have fled the scene. I like how every time they show this game, it's a different main character showing off the character customization. Yep. Initiating combat mode. Go! Destination confirmed. Woo That's what I'm talking about. All right, in and out. We're rich. Oh, we are going to the major leagues, Jackie. Right. <laughs> Jack. Oh. 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 It's got from the first one. Okay, get to a clinic now. Mr. Wells' condition is critical. Go! Immediate medical help okay. is required. Just, just hold on. Just, hey, hey, just think about all the good that we're gonna have, huh? I'm sorry. That wasn't obvious. <laughs> oh, that, that's... Oh, my God, dude. That's dope. Stab him with his own sword. Just take the f chip, Dex. Every corporal cop in this city is going to be blasting down these doors after what Look you at the and details your psycho on friend the face. did. We didn't need all this tension, damn it. Like his forehead and everything. Uh huh. Continuing the rumors that this would be a PS5 game, but it could still be cross gen and they're showing it on just a high end PC. Seems likely. <laughs> wow. 
<laughs> uh oh. Hacker Girl. It's a sequel to Hacker Man. Give us a release date. Give us a release date. Wake the f up, Samurai. We have a city to burn. Is that Keanu Reeves? Keanu Reeves? <laughs> what in the it. world? Dude, he has gotten into everything lately. And is, is Keanu, Keanu Reeves, Reeves right coming here? out? This is amazing. Dude. Oh, God. They can only go up, up, or they can only go down from this E3 so far. Please welcome Keanu Reeves. Dude, I cannot believe he's a character in Cyberpunk. <laughs> Who can we find that looks the most like Norman Reedus? <laughs> <laughs> Himself. Yeah. I love it though. All right. Why not? Good to see you. Thank you. All right. All right. I gotta talk to you about something. <laughs> Give me the release date, Keanu. I won't tell anybody. C D Project Red. Cyberpunk 2077. Wild Stallions! Whoa! A while back, the guys from CD Projekt Red approached me and asked me to be a part of their new project, Cyberpunk 2077. They were going on and on about how they'd create this vast open world with a branching storyline, how you'd be able to customize your character through in-game choices. And it's not something I knew before, but I was excited by. And I'm always drawn to fascinating stories. Yeah. Cyberpunk yeah. is set in a metropolis of the future where body modification has become an obsession. You play as an outlaw, an enhanced mercenary working in the sleazy underbelly of the city. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, but let me tell you, the feeling of, of being there, of walking the streets of the future, is really going to be breathtaking. You're breathtaking. <laughs> You're breathtaking. <laughs> You're all breathtaking. Dude, Keanu's such all a right, nice right, guy. Dude, so he's, he's I, I love it. I gotta it. finish this, so tell me. Do you guys wanna know? Um, when there's uh, when a, the release date. Yeah, absolutely. It's all over here like yeah. a Dora episode. Can you all guys right. tell me which one it is? It's Check your fucking square. <laughs> Ready now. Oh, I love that that Holy glitchy uh, transition they did. Mr. Hansen, am I right for the job? Okay. I'm oh man. The best that you eat your heart out. To the other side. Let's do this. Not nice. bad at all. Not bad. I like how there's no PS4 down there. It's kind of confusing, but marketing. Marketing. And <laughs> Atlas said, I never knew I wanted World anything so premiere. bad until now. Yeah. I don't know what this is, but it's going to be hard to even come close to that. Oh, look, Fable. <laughs> That's the recurring theme of the night. Yeah. <laughs> you think they'll close with Fable? That's a possibility. In terms of at least the game section? If Fable's even here. Yeah. That's kind of what's cool. Okay. I like the hand-drawn art. Yeah, this is more of like a Switch game. <laughs> Personas and violin playing. It's 
it gets crazy brutal right here. Like, I've been really liking this thing with hand-drawn art across these games coming out lately. It's one of my favorite things about the Thunder Lotus games. Also something I liked about Hollow Knight. You can see constellations in the sky, that's cool. Spirit Fair. Thunder Lotus! Wow. There I had go. a feeling, but I was—I didn't want to like, go that cra that far. Dude, if that comes out on Switch, I'm definitely going to pick that up. I think that looks good. I like their games, and they've all been so varied so far. Oh. It's fucking Battletoads! Battle oh, God. There's nothing like working at GameStop in the 24-7. Do y'all have a copy of Battletoads? <laughs> Corey said motherfucking battle toads. What was the name of that game just then? Spirit Fair. That's not an engine turtle rip at all. Or Street Sharks rip. I was, right, I was talking about the big. So. Was oh, it yeah. Battletoads older than Street Sharks? Probably. Who the hell knows, man? Please don't spend long on this game. <laughs> uh oh. And this is where Miyamoto steps out. I really doubt it. You wonder if that you think that room is gonna come true? Oh dude, that looks cool. Um it'd be cool. Dude. Hmm. Alright, alright, Xbox, get your bandwidth under control. Elts B be talking about the art for this or the art for Battletoads? I think this art's pretty unique. I'll it give it is. that. You know, Battletoads looked kind of just bland, but I mean, it probably is. I've never played Battletoads, even though I know what the symbol is, obviously. This almost looks like Akira Toriyama in some spots. I've, I've, uh, yeah, a few parts, but just not quite there enough. You know right, what I mean? yeah. Right time. That looks pretty cool. Okay. I had a feeling this was out of Xbox. All right. Mm, that game was cool. Pathologic. Oh, what is this? That looked cool too. Was that Hyperlight Drifter that flashed? It might be. No. What's the new game from Hyperlight uh, Studios called? Oh Call, man. Do you recall? No, I don't. It's skipping my brain right now. But. Sorry that the uh, stream keeps dropping quality. I'm hoping that's something that ends up fixing itself sooner rather than later. Hey, Riverbond, the game coming to PlayStation. Yeah. Those Contra style games seem to really be coming back. Is that what? Lord of the Rings card game. Now that looks like what I would think it is. Hyper I Drifter, that looks very similar to Hyper I Drifter's are, but I, I really don't remember the name of their game. Like, I don't even know if I would know it if I saw it. Yeah, Crosscode looks cool too. Please welcome. Head of Xbox partnership. Crosscode is that Sarah game that Stefan's been talking about on Discord a lot, if I recall, right? Yeah, I believe so.
all the ID at Xbox games you just saw will premiere on Xbox Game Pass day one. They are really making strides with Game Pass. At Xbox, our passion Whether I agree is with it completely or not, I don't know. Play the you games know. That you love. Still a weird business model. Through creation, curation, and discovery. The ultimate expression of that passion is Xbox Game Pass. My team travels the globe, seeking out fan favorites and hidden gems, and crafts partnerships with their creators so that you can discover your next favorite game. Mind-blowing experiences, epic adventures, and iconic characters, all for you to explore. It has been awesome to see the record-breaking success developers have had in Xbox Game Pass, introducing their games to new players and creating lifelong fans. Since launch, we have tripled the number of partners in Game Pass, adding more games from more genres, platformers, RPG, adventure, sports, puzzles, and more every single month. And of course, every Xbox Game Studios title you see today will premiere in Game Pass day one. What was that last part you just said? Did she say every game you see here we will premiere? Yeah, she said announce. that twice now. New titles so coming that to part? Xbox Game Pass. No, no, every, every one of the ID Xbox. Okay. Batman, Arkham Knight, Metro Exodus. That's a good good addition. <laughs> Sorry, Hollow Corey, you came Knight. in last week and I had to work. And Borderlands, the handsome collection. Oh. Corey, it's good seeing you, buddy. Amazing now I can pick up, Me well, if it comes to PC, can I can pick up Metro Exodus. Today. Our mission at Xbox is for you to be able to play any game with anyone, anywhere. And we know for many of you that means PC. That is why <laughs> last month we announced Xbox Game Pass for PC. Now here's Today, time to see if it confirms $5. The Game $5. Pass journey on PC begins. Today. Nice. Now, wow. PC players can discover their next favorite game with Xbox Game Pass. We have curated over 100 games just for PC, including favorites like Emperor Rome and Football Manager 2019. El Sabib, that's my question too. What incentive are they giving developers? Or is it literally just the business model puts more and money in these developers' for the pockets? First time on PC, since it's guaranteed money. Halo Reach, the entire Master Chief Collection. Is that today? Is that starting today? Is that today? If so, ya yeah boy. Woo! We are thrilled to share that Xbox Game Pass It's four ninety nine a month, a dollar a month right now, 80% off. Open beta yeah. today. Open beta today. Whatever you still. Do. Dude, if I could still... Oh, look, Metro Exodus. And Shadow of the Tomb Raider. Well, this isn't the same as PS Plus, right, Corey? I mean, this would be more PS Now needs to step its game up. But PS Now has actually got great number of games on it. You got 300 and something plus downloadable games. Um, so it gets kind of interesting uh, to really see the difference between this. It's going to come down to a game-by-game -game basis which ones are newer that would technically present the bigger values. And the difference between the services as, as well as cost. Because technically a year of PS uh, Now is cheaper than a year of Games Pass. Game? But only when bought in bulk like that. El Tabib, I'm honestly not sure. It may not be. It may be one of the same thing that EA is kind of doing, but Xbox EA is doing it themselves, PC and it's less games. Hard to say. Now, try it out by downloading the all-new Xbox app on Windows. And it says 499 on the website. If you want it all, we have created a membership just for you. Oh my God! Xbox it's both of them for Game two bucks a month. Ultimate. Get both of them for ten dollars. I don't know what else that ten dollars means. You get everything: Xbox Game Pass for console with over one hundred great games, Xbox Live Gold, an unrivaled gaming community, and now 
Xbox Game Pass for PC at no fifteen dollars a month. A month. Wow. To include gold, that's pretty good. And you know what? If I played my Xbox more, I might actually be tempted to do that. Yeah. Well, the fact you get the other games on PC and too. Sure. Because it's but if I can get that for just $5, can jump in you know. And play today for $1. Yep, I just did that, you guys. So, $1. Now go discover. The fact that I can literally go home and download Halo. World premiere. Fable. It is impressive pricing. Seems like they're going to be taking the hit on their side of how much money they're getting for Xbox Live more Power, so than anything. Powered by satellite and data AI? Is that what that just said? Yeah, but that doesn't mean much. You know, that, oh, that Get Out game or whatever it was called said it was going to do all this cool stuff with different tech and it just didn't end up hit, hitting. So it's nice to hear it. Or they're about to tell I me to see a video game. It's a flight simulator. Stream. Blinks Time Sweeper 3. I guess I don't know. Um, I've never heard of that series. What? Uh, yeah, me either. It looks cool. Not in the flight sims, though. Whoa. Weather crazy. Looks really good. Google Earth. <laughs> what if it's like letting you pilot this plane and the plane is real in real life? Oh, Lord. And then the plane has a computer on the inside and the computer has a monitor and the monitor is playing Fable. <laughs> <laughs> so it's just a brand new flight simulator. Cool. That's cool. Different, but it did look really good. Google Earth Flight Simulator. Do you remember a That'd be something. Uh-oh. Hey, this is, um... And powerful cities collapsed. Okay, maybe not. I'll say this looks like Darkest Dungeon. The smallest of choices. Oh, yeah. Echoed through the pages of history. Is this Fable? It was an age... Age of Empires. Age of oh, Empires. my God. Empires. <laughs> Remaster. Age of Empires. <laughs> <laughs> Yo! <laughs> well... Right. I, I, I know what I will be doing for a lot of my PC. Screw Halo. Did either of you guys like Age of Empires at all? I played it really when I was young. Um, but I just don't remember too much of my time with it. But considering that that genre of games is really gone, kind of like we talked about on Reader Mail, um, it is nice to see a lot of them coming back around, even with like the Warcraft 3 remake and whatnot. Razors? I see you at a donkey's age. Welcome to beautiful Colorado. Home to the Purple Mountains Mastigy of the Rockies. Fable. Hike through colorful canyons. Get up close and personal with that. Nah, there were guns, Willy which is interesting. Art style wise, this reminds me to an extent of like a modern er version of the uh, rare pirate game. See if these. Obviously, I don't know Springs. Is that a world mix? No. Do in this post-apocalyptic winter wonderland. Is this a new XCOM game? Meet new people, make new friends. Colorado has colorful yeah, characters. Of course, they have knockoff outer worlds. Friendly faces uh, everywhere you look. It does have the outer worlds. See our didn't well, didn't outer worlds do like a postcard thing too? In it? Yep. Don't forget to pick yourself up a nifty I'm digging these RTS games here. though. I've been craving like good ones. So don't be shy. Colorado's waiting for you. <laughs> no, is is that the drunk guy Springs. from Red Dead Redemption 2? On, on Wasteland. Wasteland 3? I There's two it. of them? Yeah, I remember the name. I've just, I never seen the game, so it was really past me as He's to what it was going to be. Head of Xbox Game Studios, Matt Booty. Matt, Matt Booty. Booty. Yeah, boy. You just know he hated growing up. <laughs> Games are at the heart of our mission. Over the last year, 
we added seven new game development studios to Xbox. It's fantastic to see some of these studios already sharing new games on our E3 stage, and there's more to come. I have the privilege of working with some of the best studios around the globe. And for me, great studios are about people, teams, and ideas. Our success comes down to one thing, creating great games that players love. And great games come from great developers. That's why I'm honored today to announce that joining Xbox Studios is Double Fine Productions. Really? Whoa. How is that going to... Oh, okay. So Psychonauts would still end up coming out on PS4 because it was funded it's, through... It wasn't Kickstarter, but it was a different Funded style. through Sony, right? Creativity no, no. It was funded through... Uh, I can't remember what it's years, called, but it's essentially like you buy like stock in the game Brutal and Rain that funds and it, but then you also get a return of investment. I'm looking forward to on. Double Fine joining Xbox and seeing what we create together. Please join me in welcoming the founder and president of Double Fine Productions, Tim Schaefer. Now, the only sad part about that, that means that if Brutal Legend ever gets remastered, it's unlikely to hit PlayStation 4. And if they ever make a sequel, it's unlikely to hit PlayStation as well. <laughs> Hello. Thank you. Thank you so much, and thank you, Matt. We are so excited to be joining Xbox Game Studios. A little surprised they went with that, though. Very much you, like uh, Ninja Theory. I'm a team player. Whatever you need from Double Fine, we'll make for you. Uh, Halo stuff, <laughs> uh, Forza stuff, Excel stuff. Whatever you want, we are there. <laughs> I like Tim Favor. Yeah, he's funny, dude. Yeah. <laughs> Tim, we just want you to make great games. Oh, it's such a relief, because I was totally lying. <laughs> In that case, we brought a brand new trailer for Psychonauts 2. Take a look <laughs> if you dare. My name is Raz. And today Fable. is my first official <laughs> day on the job. Every, the whole we thing. Now we got a trailer for Psychonauts 2. Fable? Did that $15 a month thing include Xbox Live? Yes, it did. Wow. I was just now thinking about that. Like three things or two? Now it's $20 a month, but if you buy it for a year, it's only $99.99. I won't tell anyone. I As opposed to if you buy, if you go for a year of Games Pass, since you can't actually buy it at a year, uh, it's $120. Yeah, it looks like from a month to month basis, if that's how you do things, that the new Xbox, uh, the new Xbox thing is the best, is the best value and it's cheaper, right? Because PSN plus PS Now is what you'd have to get to get the equivalent. world premiere. You'd have to do some math, but yeah, I mean, pretty much. Just depends on if you're tying into, do you need PC? Is this Lego Star Wars? You know. Well, yeah, yeah, that's true. Too. It is Lego Star Wars. Cool. Oh, is this a collection? It might be. Uh -huh. Looks Whoa. like it. Those games always had charm to them. <laughs> Though I do think that we're going to get a new one. You know what I mean? That would be kind of cool, yeah. Huh? Star Fable. <laughs> That's what Corey what? said. The Skywalker Saga. That's pretty cool. Interesting. <laughs> wow. So That's how here. do you cover all the games in one game? Are they going to do it to like pull all the existing stories they have in with one new campaign? Or are they kind of recondensing them and making them flow through? I don't know. That's going to be an interesting thing. But that does confirm that rumor a while back about the voice actor saying there was something new coming. Oh, new Star or, uh, Dragon Ball Z game. Dragon Ball something. Actually, is this just new fighters and Dragon Ball fighters? Oh, 
Or is this oh, the okay. hold on? Is this that Bandai Namco game? That they were or whatever that they were working on that was called the Dragon Ball. Project oh yeah, this Z. is. And well, I don't know what this is, but this is not Dragon Ball Fighters. So maybe this is like a no, uh, no. maybe like a story Dragon Ball Z game. That'd be pretty dope. Yeah, and if it goes back toward like what we talked about, giving me a 3D take on like the idea behind the legacy of Goku series. Yeah, where it's open world and you move through the events that happen in the in the show, but you get to play them all out with full control. That'd be awesome. But so far it is cycling. It did go to the Vegeta first. It, so well, that's what it was. The yeah. action RPG. Hmm. I'm wow. digging this. Me too. Me too. Dragon Ball Z Kakarot? That's what it's called. Oh, okay. I thought Early 2020. That got my... The, you know what? The name I'm intrigued. Confused me. <laughs> World premiere. I'm intrigued. We'll see what happens. It does look killer crash. It does look good. And a... Ooh. And a perna. PT. Saul's just waiting for the day that PC okay. comes back around. <laughs> you want to guess what it is? Hmm. This is an outfit for a newborn. You bought it this morning. You wanted to surprise me. I'm sorry. You're pregnant. You know? I know because I'm pregnant you already too. gave it to me. <laughs> this has happened before. What are you talking about? What's going on? Someone is coming. He's going to hurt us. He says you killed your father. I need to know what happened. Why are you doing this? My father died. Died of a heart attack? No, I, 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 I didn't have anything to do with... Any second now, he's going to knock on that door. Help me. This isn't happening. This can't be happening. Police, open up. That's him. Did you call the police? We have a warrant. Please open the door. I didn't do anything. We're here to help. Don't listen to him. I'm your only chance. Open the door right now. This looks you know pretty me. cool. I, I like, like the idea. You have to believe me. Stop. No. You're under arrest. No. Hey, look at the signing carpet. You're home. What are you doing? Are you okay? <sighs> <laughs> so every 12 minutes does it somehow that's, cycle through yeah i like the idea a lot that's really really cool World premiere. Kiki says, bitch, shut the fuck up and talk. <laughs> Giving anxiety already. La, 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 la. Way to the Woods, a game by Anthony Tan. Man, what is it with these cool looking indie games tonight? Fable? <laughs> <laughs> Dear Fable? <laughs> Whoa. Two years in a modern setting. This is lovely. I'll... Now, this actually is kind of an interesting thing. Dude, yeah. Then you throw the brick to distract the zombies. <laughs> <laughs> that dear Last of Us. Dear Joel and dear Ellie. Last of Us new fun. <laughs> Was this game shown last year, Kiki? I don't remember this game at all. Yeah, I don't remember this getting shown. Bambi. Disney's modern take on Bambi. You have to watch your father get shot. A Bambi AR game where the fucking headset shoots your father. <laughs> F 
stable? <laughs> oh, gear's fine. Mass Effect. You wish. <laughs> I don't get it. Gears 4 was just such a stale experience that felt so much like a last gen game. I'm really hoping to do something new with this one. I get that it needs to feel like Gears, but it also doesn't need to feel like Gears 1 running on Xbox One, you know? Yeah. Do you ever get around to playing Gears 4? No. Isn't this Billie Eilish? I was about to say, is this a Billie Eilish video? <laughs> this is just going to be meme so bad. So if it isn't her, I'm getting the aesthetic regardless. I'm pretty sure it is. Why do you care for me when we all fall asleep? Where do we go? Bound by blood. So this looks like somehow, some way, for all the characters they went through. <laughs> From the that would be the, the song they choose to use. Stay with red and blood. For it was Is that Adam Sassler? <laughs> <laughs> I watched T4 TV. Thanks, everyone. We're excited to announce that Gears 5 is releasing on September 10th. Oh, wow. Wow, that's... Kind of close to that I actually expected. I was expecting next year. And if you want to play four days early, you can. If you want to play it four days early. Or membership in the newly announced Xbox Game Pass Ultimate. Game Pass Ultimate. I don't know if I like that. I'm getting tired of this play early crap. With Gears of War 4, we wanted to earn your trust. But with Gears 5, we want like to push the envelope by doing new blazer. things never seen in a Gears game before. But underneath, I'm And we'll tell you all about that's it. That's a dope shirt time. underneath, though. <laughs> in July... Join us for our versus multiplayer tech test where you'll be one of the first to play our all new competitive game type, Arcade. In August at Gamescom, go hands on with the all new oh, horde mode go and see how character abilities <laughs> go can turn on. the tide on the battlefield. In September, we return Stream to the dropping biggest quality is about to start ever, annoying me. where we'll explore more of Kate's harrowing journey and celebrate our <laughs> launch on September 10th. But what are we talking about today? Today, it's a brand new way to fight the swarm. In Escape, you play as one of three hive busters. You and your squad infiltrate the hive, plant the bomb, and escape with your life. Because we all know the best defense is a good offense. It's everything you love about Gears turned up to 11. Oh, yeah, nothing about this series has really excited me. Well, Gears has kind of just waned down after Judgment, you know? But they're pushing more into it. You know, there's that Gears Pop game coming. Is this Fable? Fire bad. Is this Fable? It'd be great if I could see this. Yeah, it'd be great if it wasn't on a Minecraft filter. Oh, there we go. I can't tell if this is actually under the stage the or if this is CGI. Me too. <laughs> I thought the exact same thing. Everything except the need for revenge. I this love my might son, look Kyle. like a surrender, <laughs> but it's not. It's an invasion. <laughs> yeah. Um. <laughs> okay. That doesn't look like the, was it Locust? Yeah, the Locust came back in four, but I didn't beat four. I probably got about halfway through it before it started boring me to death. Yeah, honestly, the Locusts were a cool enemy in one, but then got real old after that. That looked at the Locust. Yeah. Or something with it. Is that Forrest Whitaker? <laughs> oh god, the song. It's 
Starship Troopers. I'm pretty sure this is just Gears 5. <laughs> but who knows? Co uh, Co and Corey. Okay. Weird mashup. You've never heard this? Nope. This is like eight years old. Nine years old. So behind. It's no Little John Slayer mashup. It's coming for free, so I might as well try it if we have games pass. What, you talking about Gears 5? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I bought Gears 4 how, in hopes that it would be good. How did it she have such a savvy thing? You played Destiny. Space magic. You know, everybody yeah, this, needs superpowers. This, a bit, this series was kind of rooted into somewhat present day. Gears 4 was well past Gears 3. But Marcus was still alive. A Gears of War XCOM. That would actually be pretty cool. That would be cool. Didn't they say they were doing some kind of a, a Gears of War turn-based game? Like a... a, a they are I actually. think there's a Gears of War Tactics game coming Welcome in. to his murder Impressive lab. Three-player co-op experience, perfect for your living room couch. But it's not just Gears about Tactics. Hives. Yeah, they announced it last week. Too, I mean, last and year. And challenge your friends with the experiences you create. And tonight, join me on Mixer as we challenge these three WWE superstars, Xavier Woods, AJ Styles, and Tyler Breeze, to survive a gameplay deep dive from right here in the Hive. Why WWE home, Superstars? For the next two days, you and your friends with, uh, can play fans of select here. Sponsored by Monster. <laughs> so good luck out running the swarm, and we'll see you on the leaderboard. Oh, and for anyone who pre-orders or plays all. within the first week, we've got something special. <laughs> I'm really upset I lost the right side of my mustache. <laughs> wow, that is actually the underneath of the stage. That's really cool. Atlas said, I wonder if they're making it uh, more like a hero shooter. What is that? Was I could see Terminator? No. You maybe, sure? Maybe I'm that, blind or maybe That looked like him when he was kneeled down. Okay, I was going to say that, that what I thought it was... I don't well, know. This is the Terminator intro. Uh, dude, I'm pretty sure this this looks like... Watch, he's going to step on the skull. Dude, this is Terminator. I told you. Oh, it is Fable. You're right, Corey. Really? Weird crossover. What a... I, see, I don't like it when video games put movie stuff in them. It's bad. They're trying everything this year. Their sales were down dramatically. <laughs> Gears has to become a real series, guys. They've been succeeding. Everything so far has been ace except that. We need to make a God of War. Um, uh, here that's comes Forza. Pretty hard. Give us WWE people and Terminator. <laughs> so it's a new Elite controller? Oh. I don't know. That was car parts. Huh. Microsoft has managed to make now two. Oh, that's cool. Adjustable tension. Yeah, Microsoft. I know what you're about to say. Microsoft's now made two Elite controllers. Elite controllers. PlayStation still hasn't made one. <laughs> Get with it, PlayStation. Atlas says, I like Gears and Terminator, but that's just weird. It is. I like this controller, dude. Is that an adjustable trigger stop? Yeah. Nice. Built in the controller without having to use a key or anything. Well, yeah, but I mean more than more than one step to it. <laughs> Wait. Still needs batteries. Oh. Never mind. Oh, look at them. <laughs> Charging dock with the case. You are telling me the Xbox finally made a controller out the gate that has rechargeable batteries? Roots with the fur. But where are the Apple bottom? This is probably going to cost 199 I'll probably go buy it for PC gaming. Oh, it, I, see, I want, is it a different series where the first one will still exist? Pre-order now. Or are they completely replacing it with that new one? I mean, it looked cool if you want to spend that much money. Saul, did you get to check out that PS4 this controller? This is Dying Light PS4 controller. Corey asked. My father saved my life. I, so maybe he's talking about the... Uh, the Oh Where lord, how am I forgetting the name? The one that matches Astro? your headset. The Astro headset. Oh, uh, yeah. This place. 149.99. My name. 
Well, I think this is, is the first one. That's the first elite, not the series two. I think Saul's right. If they keep them as colors. separate series, I that one will stay as a 150 product. Saul, did you ever play the first Dying Light? Yeah, I, I so. have it. I never uh, ended up getting it. Yeah, I have it digitally. It's good. The virus tore society apart. But I won't let uh, this looks I, better. I, I, I like the medieval setting. I want to pick out. I uh, wish Corey that I would have that PS4 controller. I just want a black one, and it has to have black like red accents. Staying alive I don't like it. became the essence That's of crazy all existence. That Yet life must be more than just survival. Let's go. Every day the disease tries to crush us <laughs> and make us forget who we are. Is that a YouTube but series I... yet? People just overdubbing game trailers. Uh, I need the new iPhone. My no. name is Aiden, and I am infected. I want a stud jacket. He's infected? Ooh. With the need to dance. Dude, I'm, tell, I, I'm telling you. <laughs> and, that, and now there's a Footloose crossover. It's like the whole the whole Microsoft thing is just odd movie crossovers from the 80s. World premiere. In Dying Light, like when it gets dark and the zombies start chasing you, it's pretty, pretty blah, uh, badass. Oh, here we go with the car. I'm going to go pee real quick. <laughs> Saul's just been looking for an opportunity. Hey, Saul, you'd be a deer and grab me a water out of the fridge in the bottom corner when you come back? Would you be a deer and guide me through the city with your magical powers because I'm your deer, baby? Uh-oh. Oh, Forza Horizon 4 gets a Lego Movie 2 crossover. <laughs> <laughs> this is actually not that weird because Forza Horizon 3, uh, if I'm not mistaken, got the, the Hot, Hot Wheels, Wheels one. Oh, if the Hot Wheels guy just puts them off or the like, oh, I day one purchase it just doesn't look though. Yeah. Do you see Corey? Oh. Sounds like a new Nartec worldwide venture. Yeah. You can make everything better by adding the lonely. I like the real cars in the Lego world. That's actually That's cool too, yeah. You know what, dude? Forza Horizon 4 is actually really fun. Blake is going to love this. Corey said, God damn it, Blaze, but I'm not sure about what. <laughs> Is that a Lego car? <laughs> Who did they commission to make this Lego car? Combine the ten starving art students for design. With about half a million of Lego's legendary bricks, you get this incredible life-size Lego Speed Champions McLaren Senna. All right. Combine then. the beauty and Don't freedom of Horizon. The Saul, there's been redemption. LEGO, it's a Lego you car. Get the Forza Horizon 4 Lego <laughs> Speed Champions expansion. You nah, will drive this Senna and more LEGO Speed Champions cars Thanks, so. in Actually, an entirely new world, packed with inventive new challenges, new areas to explore, and loads He's of He's Scottish, it's close smash. enough. The Forza Horizon 4 LEGO Speed Champions Scottish expansion Scottish is the new British. Launches this week. Apparently they hate each other. I'll see you there. <laughs> See, this is a Gears pop game. Why did you not just do these back to back? I'm not saying this isn't cool, but I like Gears. I mean, it just seems also weird to why not show them back to back, you know? Wait, well, are you saying the actual car they showed off was Lego? Mm -hmm. Okay, now that is actually kind of cool. I thought you were saying there's a Lego car in the game now. El Tabib says, I think Lego made a working Bugatti v a Veyron. It just drove five miles per hour. <laughs> hey, my wife is watching. Hello, Annie. Everybody say hello to her in chat. All right, kill you all. Whoa, she whoa, at? whoa. She's in a home. Oh. Uh, what's up, Andy? I wonder if they're going to show the uh, Gears tactics after this. One interesting thing is if you buy the Gears of War Pops, you get tokens that go into this Gears Pops game. <laughs> Atlas said, hello. I said, not fearing for my life in any way. Oh, it's an app game? It's a phone game. Yes, yeah. They talked about that last year.
Oh. State of Decay 2. <sighs> My mission, find the father I never knew. My mission, find a hero I've never met. He hasn't radioed in days. He hasn't been seen since the outbreak. The last time I heard his voice, the last place he was seen. What a weird trailer. Was in trouble. I like how it's like, my my. I'm looking for my dad, and another guy. I'm looking for a hero I've never met. <laughs> it's like I don't whispers. know if those are the same. I've only heard legend. Crash had the I've first of us. <laughs> Here. Oh, she's actually in chat. Look at her. She made an account. Here we Wicked can become smart. stronger. <laughs> Wicked smart. So long, I like how she even did the surviving. HTT. Now you gotta put that counting on me. I don't get it. It's from uh um, This is where my story could end. Oh man. Goodwill hunting. This is where my story could begin. I thought we had seen everything. We ain't seen nothing yet. Agent, there's Agent 46. Hmm. I tried playing it. it. It didn't appeal to me that much. Oh, did you play it on PC? Yeah. World premiere. Like I said, I'm kind of sick of zombies. World yeah. Premiere. So it definitely didn't do anything. <laughs> Kiki uh -oh. said, don't fat Fable. shame zombies? Uh, Sega. Sonic Battle... Oh, is this a uh, fantasy star? Wow. Coming? Now, hold on. Is this coming to Xbox before PlayStation? That's wild. What? What? Exclusively? Yo. What? This looks really cool. Oh. I'm not even going to lie. If this is the MMO, your boy's probably going to play if it's on Games Pass on PC. Well, it said via Xbox One. I guess that's true. With crossplay. Probably with the current consoles that it's on. Because I think it's on PS4 in the East. You know what I mean? Dude. In Japan. Fantasy Star has always had great designs in the game. I, I agree. But the series has not stayed very relevant over here, sadly. No. The last time I played it, I think it was on the Xbox. Mixing Dragon Swords and Mix. Yeah. What, what was it on Xbox 360? Was it just Fantasy Star Online? Because that was the last time I played it. Yeah, I think that's right. But wasn't it Fantasy Star Online across the board? On, wasn't it? Wow. Fantasy Star Online was the original Xbox and PS2. Okay, and that, that, that might be what I'm thinking of then. Not 360. Oh, not PS2. It's Xbox, Dreamcast, and GameCube. So this is not that crazy, I guess. Wow. It is actually on Fantasy Star Online. It'll be on PC. That's pretty interesting. Phil Spencer, Those give me some more stuff. Those of you who played Fantasy Star know that this game had influenced many of the most popular <laughs> games today. This is a so great way great for them to delight, get their Xbox presence back Sega a little bit. You know what I mean? Back to our stage mm -hmm. and <laughs> Fantasy Star back on Xbox. <laughs> As we said, our goal on Team Xbox is to bring you the world's best games. Meeting with developers, playing their games, and introducing you to their Just games. Punch them right in the dick. These are the best Everybody. parts of my job. That, that guy was a legend. <laughs> he was thinking about it. You know what I'm laughing at, Corey. It's what you put in chat. They shared their ambition to bring their massively popular game with That's its all. passionate okay. community of whole 650 there. million <laughs> PC players to the entire world. I'm happy to announce our partnership with the legendary team at Smilegate. Their approach to game design demonstrates sheer creative boldness. Next year, you'll discover the newest entry in this landmark franchise. On console, for the very first time, only on Xbox. This <laughs> so is, it is an exclusive. X. Crossfire X is a new game. World premiere. 
Oh, they talk. They weren't talking about Fantasy Star. No, they moved I, on. I did not get that. That was not clear to me. <laughs> yeah, they still kept the Fantasy Star up in the back, which was not. Well, they had easily the, they, they had Smilegate on the back, but I was thinking that they yeah, were, yeah. that was somehow helped somehow a partner. He can't tell you, man. Sony's just not going to be here. I don't know what you want from him. <laughs> and that's why Xbox stepped it up because it wouldn't be here. If we're being honest, that's probably why they did it. You to, know. To be fair, though, Xbox did win E3 last year. Without a doubt. From a pacing standpoint, I mean, because from an everything standpoint, winning comes down to what games ha you have the most interest in, right? And subjectively, I think that, yes. Subjectively, yeah. though, they won. They showed off the most games. They showed off the most variety of games. Even though they're all multi-platform games. The I still part. say that I don't think Sony's would have been near as bad had it not been for the, the venue change that they did at the beginning. Probably would have been a, a great conference had it not been for that, you know what I mean? Yeah, it was okay. It was okay. The Last of Us 2 trailer was definitely worth it. The Ghost trailer was definitely worth it. Sure, yeah. What's the game's name? Office John Krasinski. John, John, John Krasinski. Yeah, John Krasinski. He's the bearded guy around there. <laughs> What was that movie? I mean, to be fair, you, you, you have the best game of the year coming out for PlayStation here real soon, and that's Death Stranding, so you do have something to look forward to. Tom Clancy's Fable. <laughs> <laughs> that was... Ooh, boy, that's good. Swim. This looks cool, but can we get some Game Boy? So it's a Crossfire X. Just Crossfire Crossfire X is what he said going into it. So, first two consoles on Xbox One, so maybe the PC after. Great word. He said Xbox. Exclusive. It's already on World PC. Premiere. Oh, did he not say play it only on Xbox? Yeah, but he's saying he's using that word. He, he's saying at launch, play it only on Xbox. All about the way you word stuff. Oh, is this a new Tales game? Yeah, it is. Look at it. Tales of Arise, if we're to believe. I'm looking. I'm, I'm excited to see. This yep. is the kind of JRPG I'm looking for. Me too. I really hope this is a big step up. Oh. Blue eyes, white Ragnaros. <laughs> Dude, this graphically looks <laughs> much better. Oh man, the vividness and the colors. I'm in love. How can you see? Anime magic. <laughs> Fulu <-cooly. laughs> oh. Well, there you go, Saul. I mean, Saul Blaze, any <laughs> questions answered. Man, this looks so good. This is Tales of Arise, too. Yeah, this it, looks was, uh, so much better. Than... Well, it was the same uh, character mm -hmm. they had in the lead. Yep. Well, that screenshot they showed of the mountains. Oh, man. Was there. Bandai stepping it up. I'm so glad. Please come out real soon. You know, it'd be great to this year that game. That got a rise out of me. <laughs> <laughs> 2020. Oh, man. Come on. Hold on, though. I give them this. Considering that they are so used to churning out those Tales of games fairly quickly with a low budget and low quality, even if people like them, I'm not saying they're bad games, but I am fine with them putting time and effort into making that series be a little bit more relevant across the board. And give it a there real are budget. Six sirens in the universe. I used to be one. Oh, of it's them. Borderlands Three. My name is Lily, and I need you. I still have to play Berseria again. Can't even make you feel any better. Like I still, I, I felt like I didn't give it enough time. I'd have to do the same, but I mean, regardless, I think even if Berseria was good in, in some ways that it was good, I think it's still a fair thing to say that they were behind a lot of their contemporaries. That's my boy. That's my character, Dibs. I love it, man. Dibs. I mean, I don't care. I'm <laughs> playing the <laughs> game. Like, with. That's not how Dibs works. I mean, the thing is, is that you act like you can't be the same character. I don't care. Nope. I'll play 90% of this game by myself, likely, because I do that with almost everything. She's game. cool, too, Dibs. Okay. Did he shoot and loot out? Yeah. Dibs. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. <laughs> I like the callback to the second game, but is that not the original voice actor for Claptrap? No. Doing a good impression. 
They did that. They well, Claptrap voice is thoughts. quite computerized if you really want to talk about it. Yeah. It true. wouldn't be hard to give it a similar effect. Well, that guy's also doing um, Dragon Ball Bridge now. Oh. The guy who did Claptrap originally. Yeah. <laughs> Atlas said, my boy saw you better chill. I had dibs on flack already. I was reading that. Di you gotta respect the rule of dibs. All right, Barney. I love you. you Different Barney. Me. Oh, you're talking about bad Barney. No, you're talking about the greatest show on. No, nah, the worst show in the world. Best show in the world. Maybe only preceded by uh, Big Bang Theory. <laughs> Don't you dare <laughs> put them in the same... Don't you dare stand where he's stood. <laughs> wait, there's more. Fucking Billy Mays DLC. That'd be Available today. What? Well, wait, there's a game. It's coming to PC. Uh, uh, I mean, yeah, PC. the new uh, Borderlands 2 DLC. I was going to say it's coming to... Uh, That's actually a great move, Switch. man. All these... So adding it to Games Pass, adding it to PS Plus for the Borderlands Hansen Collection for this month, coming out with a new DLC that bridges to your game. It's actually the great fact marketing. That DLC for like hey, a six-year-old game. Yep. But to specify, Game Pass in general, if it says Game Pass, that means PC also? Not always. Because nope. it didn't say, because it just said Xbox. Not always. Not, there, not always. There, it, it shares a pool of games, but it's not all of them. PC or, has more tailored games now, whereas used to Games Pass on PC was bare bones because it was just a few... Xbox games. Here it Shut goes. Shut the fuck up. Well, thanks, so. <laughs> Handception. <laughs> <laughs> I doubt you could even imagine it. That is Balder, but it's weird that he has the hammer. Is the only reason that, but the the character design is typically how they portray him, unless that's meant to be. Uh, I can't even remember the name of the guy. So it doesn't matter. Let's see. Yeah, Miyazaki's music, man, Elden Ring. September 20th, 2019. There's not going to be a date. Nah, I know. But Saul would lose his mind if there was. Oh my gosh, dude. I wonder if he that, would get a window. 2020? I didn't no. think that they'd do anything. They're going very much to Sicker right? Oh, man. I did not think I'd get a new From Game anytime soon. Please welcome back probably won't. Bill Spencer. <laughs> That's probably <laughs> true. <laughs> From it looks good. National studios to one person passion projects, thousands of Xbox games are in development for you right now. Is Just this today, it? Atlas, you must have missed we the, the 60 leak. 60 games. We are now experiencing an unmatched expansion of creativity on Xbox. You don't tell me. Gaming for you. This whole thing with no fable. Connecting all of these creators to all of you. People they said the last thing about last They don't want to overshadow the next we Xbox. We announced our ambition. <laughs> to empower everyone everywhere to play by bringing Xbox to the cloud. We will do this in two ways, cloud. through Project X Cloud and through console streaming. And then people are gonna two look months up ago, videos. we connected all <laughs> Xbox <laughs> developers to Project X Cloud. Today, no. He's using we invite wording. those of you here at E3 for our first public hands-on of Project X Cloud. Everybody check under your phone. You got a new cell phone. Right here at check under your phone. Check under your seat. And you'll My have bad. two ways to stream. Take an Oprah moment. There's a new platform feature. Console streaming. Look at all those 
It turns your Xbox One into your own personal and free xCloud server. An actual server? Whether you're using a console in our data center or your console at home, this October, you'll be able to use our hybrid gaming cloud to play your games wherever you go. So essentially... Um, Where you play is so the connectivity remote play. that would have to be choice. great, right? You decide, or it would make it great. So yeah, let's talk I mean, about yes. our next console. It'd just be remote play at that. They just want to mine Bitcoin with your Xbox. <laughs> For us, no, the nothing. console is vital and central to our experience. We heard you. A console should be designed and built and optimized <laughs> See, Corey, yeah. for one thing no, seen that one and ago. one thing only, <laughs> gaming. So the same team that created the world's most powerful console, Xbox One X, and innovated its groundbreaking processor and the Elite controller. The same team that engineered the world-class compatibility of today's Xbox One consoles the same team that set the bar for live gaming services with Xbox Live, this same team set out on a new mission to create the future of gaming for you. It's a bold claim. We actually got a trailer for this? When you think about the future of gaming, it's not just PC, it's not just console, it's not just mobile, it's really all of the above. Xbox is all about choice. We're investing in technology all throughout the game stack. The games you want with the people you want on the devices that you want. And for us, that starts with our next generation console. We don't want to build just another console. We truly want it to be <laughs> transformative. More immersion, more Boys exploration, <laughs> more detail. So how do we make it easier for people to get into the game, to stay in the game? One of the things that gamers and developers are incredibly excited about is reducing load times. I'm an RPG gamer, and so like loading screens are a thing. You're sitting there in the fake elevator because you know that the game's loading in the background. It's just an elevator ride that's forever. Right. That's our goal with gaming, is that you don't have those pauses. This generation is going to be a bigger leap than any generation we've done before. At the heart of our next generation console is our custom design processor, leveraging the latest Zen 2 and Navi technology from our partners at AMD. From a pure processing perspective, what? this is four times more powerful than the Xbox One X. We're leveraging high bandwidth GDDR6 to ensure that we're getting the best performance possible. It's going to usher in resolution and frame yep, rates that we've never seen before. Talked about. Like, I know, I didn't know they were getting it too. We're looking yeah. at frame rates up to 120 frames per second. 8K capability, variable refresh rate. Next gen ray tracing. It's real time because it's hardware accelerated for the first time ever. I don't believe it. What I'm this. personally most excited I don't believe about is the SSD. See it. We've created this is gonna be $600 a new at generation well, AK of capability SSDs. We're actually using means that SSD it can do very similar to what they did with We're seeing more than 40 getting 4K capability out of both the current Xbox generation. Uh, the combination of the SSD and the solid state drive <laughs> are really what <laughs> gives you a totally new experience. Now we can take all of that power and apply it back into the scene so we can actually generate more life in that world and bring it to the gamer in a seamless way. So that then you're fully experiencing what the game developer wants you to experience. When you can move through worlds without waiting for screens to load, that speed, that performance is what the next generation is about. This is the most immersive console experience ever. What we really want to do is give developers the power to build the game they've always envisioned. We have hundreds of people across both our first-party studios as well as our third-party studios working on those next-generation experiences today. It's an amazing commitment to content at Xbox Game Studios. There's 13 studios, seven in the last year. That's a big family. At 343, for us, it's always about more seamless worlds with the next generation. Hey, look, so we can bring Halo the world to life. Oh, I just never realized they haven't done anything with Halo, before. have they? We're delivering four generations. I, this, of it's been so distracting that everything else has been blown line. Halo Infinite's going to be a next generation. Especially game. awesome for Game oh, Pass members. With the faster load times, you're going to be able to experience all the But now next gen's losing its meaning more and more. Fingers. We're giving gamers the option to connect across With devices and across platforms in a way that we never were able to before. This isn't just a console launch. This is about the future of gaming. Your games, your achievements, your progression, your accessories. We're trying to spell something out to Your console gaming experience <laughs> with Xbox, it all comes forward with Scarlet. 
Oh, this could just call the Scarlet, huh? Or Project Scarlet. Okay, never mind. Just like Project Scorpion. Holiday 2020. It eats monsters for Scorpio. breakfast. It eats monsters for breakfast. So, Look, at least they're making fun of themselves. Oh, Be like, yeah. it's a it's monster. The most powerful and highest performing console we've ever designed. Built for creators to unleash their boldest creative visions and optimized for players to enjoy the ultimate gaming experience on a console anywhere. Immersive experiences begin at the very heart of the console, at the silicon level itself. Together with our partners at AMD, we have co-engineered and Did custom designed a state-of-the-art <laughs> processor for Project Scarlet. I was slightly disappointed, but no. <laughs> Power you could see defined previous generations. Power and performance you can see and feel defines Project Scarlet. When we talk about freedom to play, when we talk about Xbox in the cloud, when we talk about streaming so no your games, no price, Project the same Scarlet as and all of Real its vague. power talk about it more and all of its year, performance it's closer. is you know, we're a the year foundation and a half out. of our future in console and the formation of our future in cloud. We launched Xbox 18 years ago with a game reviewers called the definitive reason to own an Xbox. Well, because humanity was and is worth saving, next holiday, we will launch Project Scarlet with Halo. I had a feeling. Wow. Oh, nope. Oh. Yeah, I had a feeling. But I'm glad that that's what they said. It's just lotion. Make that sound in your mouth. <laughs> hey, is that James Gunn's brother? It's the guy who does. Uh, no, it's not. Nice. I'm just curious as to what this Pressure is. The thing of that is, Halo 5 was a bad game. I wonder who's going to step through the door. Probably not a good guy. I don't know. It was the vocal point. I think it might be a bad guy at first and then a good guy pops in. No. It's oh. a bad guy and then it gets shot in the head yeah, by the good Master guy. Chief and then... Man, if, I, if Master Chief was aboard my flight like that, I wouldn't be out there. I'd be like, Master Chief! No. He's listening. Can you say hi? Hi. And how big are you? I'm baby. Can you tell daddy how big you are? Are you so big? So big. <laughs> and can you sing? <laughs> Good singing. How about I miss you? Is he watching miss a fable you. gameplay trailer? And I love you. <laughs> <laughs> I love you, daddy. Revealception, they just start throwing. And I can't wait to see you. Reveals and, and reveals. Then boom, see you. get shot by Covenant. Covenant, bye bye. That's a whole different man. Well, he's been out. <laughs> been passed out for 18 years. Oh, he might have been dead in space for that long. Oh, and he just got snapped back from the gauntlet. Yeah, that's probably what happened. <laughs> well, it takes you 18 years to grow a beard like that. <laughs> This it is really does. This is Pelican Echo 216. Can you hear me? Is he Russian? This is UNS. Whoa. What is that? Jolster Chief. God. <laughs> <laughs> I are confused. Master Chief's dead inside of it, and he just crawls into the suit. Are we actually going to get to see a Master Chief face reveal? No. I uh, think dude, he's going to pull off the helmet and... Power cells are fried. Auto shut down. Triggering survival mode. I'm 
going to try to override. Okay. <laughs> I thought you picked up you a. Hear me in there. Picking up a crowbar. I'm gonna try to override it. Please don't die. Please. Don't die. That's kind of cool. Oh, that's actually kind of cool. They went to gameplay. Oh, welcome back, Chief. I rerouted what little power I had into your suit. Hmm. Looks like there's a problem with the servos in your hands. Stay calm. You've been out there a while. I know I saw something in here to check your armor's diagnostics. Oh. Yeah, Katana's chip is in his hand. But it says A on that thing. Oh, we see there, big guy. You're not. Status report. Status report? What? There's something you need to see, Chief. Yeah, she's rampant. Armor oh, looks dope, though. Mm hmm. The color is like perfect on there. We lost. Oh. Shit. Lost everything. There's nothing left for us here. I don't think over here is. No, no, no. Not then. Not again. We need to run. No. We need a fight. I'm not the one with the cool space suit. <laughs> you know what's crazy is this is the first time that 343 to me has captured the like the spirit of Halo. Like this actually feels like a Halo game where Halo 5 did not. I thought Halo 4 felt like a Halo game. Yeah, I, well, I guess that's true too. Yeah. I mean, I'm with you. Halo 5 really. It's just the been ball. so long. What? Six years? Seven years now? It's been quite a while since four. Yeah, that's quite a while. <laughs> This yeah, looks great. Corey said, show him the flood. Yeah, I want to see the flood, too. Because Unfortunately, though. Look at that. I knew we would be perfect together. And I was right. Man. But I still need Mabel. So this is a recap, I'm going to guess. No, Terminators and Halo. <laughs> <laughs> That's what who busted through the door. But it was the cop version. Towards the neck Man, that yeah, good good conference. There's like there was like two things in there I didn't really care to see. That was the Forza thing and then the Gears thing. I thought Forza had a as a crowd. Yeah. yeah, not bad at all. This is two years in a row that they really hit it. Now, what I'm curious about is Bethesda's tonight, of course, and then yeah, the Minecraft. Square's tomorrow night. <laughs> yeah, dude, the Minecraft was honestly that, and um, that, and then the Cyberpunk were my favorite things from this so far. Yeah, Cyberpunk was Halo. really good. I as, as good as the Dragon Ball action RPG, or whatever we're going to call it now, Dragon Ball Z go, uh, Kakarot, as good as it looks, I still need to see more to know that they're not going to do the same thing that they've been doing. And just, you know, I really want it to go take the game to the next level. But I'm still holding out hope for Fable. Well, you know, they did this last year. And then I know. Phil and Spencer went out there and started thinking people, and it cut. Exactly. And so. but See, but that's a little different. Cyberpunk's style works for that. What are you going to do? And they could just come out and do the one more thing, you know. Yeah, and I hope they they do. I know. Honestly, that would be a cool tradition for them to uh, uh, take. I think I think our hopes are a little too high. Well, and this part. was supposed to be their their longest one, right? Yeah, that was, well, that was pretty long. Yeah, it was like what about hour, an hour and thirty seven. Yeah, yeah, they started right on three. I'll give them that. They gave their time. What time well, is Bethesda and that's are y'all doing a stream? We are doing a stream. Let me double check that real quick to see what time Bethesda is. Um, we, if it's 5.30 like we think it it's is, 7 30 then it'll be 7.30 hour time, Corey. Uh, it, is, it is, in fact, 7.30 hour time. 
So I will see you guys back here at uh, 7.30. So about four hours from now. Or three hours from now. I can't do math. But um, at least for that. El Tabib said it's shorter than last year's. And I don't know if it was or not, but it definitely felt, regardless of length, it didn't feel too long. They had a pretty good pace and kept everything up. I'm really bummed at the no fable, man. And I know that they were just rumors, but you know, considering that we've heard there was confirmation at least about the playground games doing that new game that was supposed to be an RPG two and a half years ago at this point, you really think that we'd see it at some point. Was but that actually said confirmed we see, that they were doing that though, or was that a rumor that they were doing that? No, they confirmed that they are make they are creating another uh, team on the studio and making an RPG. Now you know could be taking five years to make very much like the other things but well hopefully they'll take a hint from everybody else in this industry who does it wrong and and shows a trailer without a release date and then they yeah. show it three times in a row to three different e3s yeah that's fair well atlas said that was fun guys you know what thank you guys all yeah. of you for joining us we, we hope appreciate you guys it. can join us in about another three hours and we'll uh sony uploaded the trailer for the minecraft game there we go confirmation that it will be multi-platform Good. i yeah. thought so because I, I really don't want to play a game like that on pc honestly if it comes out on switch i'm, I'm pretty sure it will uh seems likely Corey, get that on switch you'll have a switch you'll have a switch while playing on switch no i'm getting on playstation because i want platinums watch it not have a platinum i hope it doesn't well thank you guys for <laughs> tuning in to our xbox e3 watch along and uh, uh, we'll see you guys later. And here comes the awkward exit where um, Brett's controller or mouse hey, hey, yeah, there we go. See you guys later. <laughs> see you. <ya. laughs> oh, no.